She's so oh my goodness, man. That hat kind of head. Oh man. Like triangle. It's super bad. Hey guys, we just got home from church. Sunday night, the first Sunday service of January, and we are cooking a little pork and gnocchi. But this is something you've never seen. It's Italian, actually. My beautiful wife is Italian, Brazilian, so she has all these cool things that she's showing me. And we're going to drink some more Shima Hao. It's in the fridge. I'll get it for you in a second. We just found out that the church we're serving at right now does not have a missions team. We just moved here to Jukachima to this new city. We've been to this church probably four times, four or five times, and we found out they don't have a mission team. We are understanding now why God has called us to this city. We're super excited about it. We're really excited because we've been praying to work with this church ever since our first encounter with them. We felt something special about this. And secondly, we found out the, the scary thing. Down the street here, we have some people who are called in Portuguese macabeiras, and in English that's like fortune tellers or black magic, things like this. And every so often we hear them playing their worship music. And at first we thought it was a church. We talked to some neighbors and found out that they're actually fortune tellers. And so tonight at the church, one of the pastors mentioned that this is a hub. This city is a hub of black magic. The rivers that flow through here, the waterfalls that go around us, the lake that we have next to our house, is all, they, the, the fortune tellers throw their incense, they throw their sacrifices, what else do they call it? Their, their perfume. Their works. Their works. These things, they throw their sacrifices into the water to purify the city or, in our eyes, un, unpurify the water, right? And so we have understood our true mission here in Jukachiba. We're so glad that we're here. We want to be a part of this missions team. And as we join together with more missionaries here in the area, American, Brazilian people that are going to join our team, we're so pumped. And also, we want to ask you guys for prayer because living so close to this black magic, living so close to these fortune tellers, if they find out about us Christians or missionary, I'm not saying that we're, we're going to be a target, but I'm saying, guys, please pray for us because we don't know what can happen. We need prayer. De dealing with situations like this, and as we go into the community and continue to share the gospel with people, just the other day I met a homeless man named Samuel during the, the holidays here in Brazil. They let the prisoners out of jail to spend time with their family, which is a crazy concept to me. But they allow the prisoners out, and I believe that this man was let out of prison and wanted to be with his family. But I got to pray with him and speak with him. And he, I asked him, what do you need prayer for? And do you know what he said? He said, I want God to wake me up. I told him, I said, you know what? And that's a great thing to pray for because there's so many Christians that also need to pray that prayer. And it was such a good time, a great time to speak with him. I had a friend, another missionary friend that was with me. We spoke with this man. We prayed for him. We encouraged him. He was so happy with our encounter, and it was such a blessing. I wanted to bring him home to our house, but with the wisdom, we didn't do that. Anything you want to speak of? Um, even though we know that this uh, crazy, virgin-tailed people or whatever they are, we know that our God is more powerful and we can maybe achieve those people to God, mm. or at least all the people around here, we, with help, God's help, we can uh, do evangelism here, and hopefully having a team, a missionary team, to, to be with us here in this area, and in, in Jukichiba, there's many people that are still in God, the church can be filled with more people, and this person that people they can't get uh, more people for them. But God God wants his people. And he can be used and he's God is the most powerful. So we don't not, don't need to fear, don't need to be afraid of this kind of stuff. But it's just something to be aware and we need to pray about and yeah. do evangelism with and even with outside of having those guys close, without having the Mokambetas here, the people are lost in this city. They're constantly drinking. We have 
four, five, six bars on our street. I mean, it's nuts. There's so many just drunkenness, just nasty things that are happening in the city that we want to go against with the Lord. And we're so excited about what God's doing in our mission. So we just wanted to, to share that with you while it was heavy on our hearts. And I'm going to show you the... the <laughs> Do you see my help? Yeah, I'm going to show the Shima how. Yeah, this is a thermos. So we put the hot water here. And... I showed this to my sister today, and she was drinking cream soda. She's like, no, I'll stick to my cream soda. I don't really want to try that. But this is called Shima Hao. If you can see it, it's but filled with is... herb. It's tea. This straw has a filter. Go ahead. Yeah. This one is sweet. So real gaushus from my my place, they don't really drink glass that, that much. Just the Nutella people. Mm -hmm. Uh, because it's sweet with cinnamon and sugar, brown sugar, and water. It tastes like Christmas. It's pretty delicious. With Gaosha, she said that she is Gaosha, and that means that she's from the south of Brazil. And so Brazil is broken up in, of course, many states, 26 states, if you didn't know. Yeah, she is Gaosha. She is from the south of Brazil, Rio Grande do Sul. Is that correct? Is that how you yeah. pronounce it? Perfect. Well, guys, thank you so much. We're going to have other parts of this video, but I just wanted to share this while it was heavy on our hearts. God bless you. Thank you. Pray for us. Bye-bye. What are you doing, honey? <laughs> I was cutting the grass. And I stopped because there's all these things on the ground. Turns out they are guavas. Good job, honey. You're doing excellent. Now, what are you doing? Really? What are these? I don't remember the name. It's, it's kind of weird. The fruit is on the bark. Just the other day, we were driving home and we stopped and we saw a snake. The most giant snake I've ever seen in my life. It was giant six seven feet long i want to show you guys a little snippet of that it's crazy what do you think about this i'm driving home look at this snake man it is huge well, other people that also stopped to look at this snake <laughs> i wish i could get out but my wife won't let me but this thing is probably five six feet long crazy cobra <gasps> horrible Man. That ha kind of head, oh, man. like triangle, it's super bad. And I just want to end this today with a little bit of information about our podcasts. So if you guys don't know, Chris Busher and I have been running a podcast for about a year and a half. And it's called Faith and Family Fellowship, available on all streaming platforms. Amazon Music, Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, YouTube, um, Pandora Radio, all of these these streaming platforms and what's so amazing about this podcast is we've been able to interview people from all over the world literally from all over the world people who barely speak english even we've been able to talk with christian authors christian missionaries christian organization leaders people who design christian apps christian artists literally so many things if it's christian it's there and we've also had some very interesting conversations with people some topics like gay marriage some conversations like what the real gospel is, conversations like um, what does it mean to vote politically, biblically, things like this. Just so many different topics, a vast variety. And so I want to encourage you guys to check that out. I have shared my testimony many times. I've shared many sermons that I preached. Chris Busher has shared many sermons as well, his testimony. And it's just a blessing. It's a blessing. I'm so grateful to be a part of it. And most recently, we did a podcast titled Flying with a Broken Wing. And I interviewed a woman who grew up with very, very difficult circumstances. She grew up, she was born in prison actually, and her mother was in prison for murdering her father out of self-defense. And just hearing that story, it broke my heart. I've never heard anyone with a more difficult life than that, a more difficult start. And she overcame, God put her around godly people at about 19, and he totally changed her life, transformed her life completely. And so we have stories like that things like that. A few weeks ago, I had a conversation with a man who was on Ninja Warrior, American Gladiators, The Million Dollar Mile, and he's also a pastor and 
a missionary, some things like this. And so guys, check out our videos. They're amazing. They're such a blessing. I think I have a podcast today I'm recording, one tomorrow as well. And it's an extreme blessing. So guys, God is doing some exciting things here in Brazil, in Jucachiba and Barnabas. And so I want you guys to check out all of our videos if you haven't watched them. And also next week's video is going to be really exciting. We're sharing some testimonies of what God has already done in January 2021 here. And we're so pumped to be a part of what God is doing. So guys, check it out. Stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. We're going to be posting videos weekly. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on our next video. Bye. Thank you.